I don't think there is a seat available anywhere. All are filled. The fans are ready to see the Winston Cup action. And here we go with the first Union 400. The green flag is out. Shepard's car as he follows Jeff Bodine. There's Mark, Mark Martin. Side-by-side -side battle here. Rusty Wallace on the inside and Ernie Urban on the outside. That's for fourth position and Rusty gets the measure coming off the corner. Well, well, that's took the back stretch, but uh, we're not seeing that now. We'll see it a little bit later on. But yesterday in practice, he was running about 100 RPMs more up the back stretch than on the, the downhill front stretch here. And a crash in turn number four. Looks like that uh, Dale Jarrett involved and Richard Petty. Some heavy damage to Richard in front of his car. That is unbelievable. Last week, the King's race was cut short when he collided with Sterling Marlin, who had spun, and now the King has severe front-end damage here on only lap number seven, and the STP Pontiac limps toward the pits. And here it is again. Well, it looked like Dale Jarrett was spinning coming off the turn up there. He was on the high side of the racetrack. He spins all the way around down the inside, and Richard just... Uh, and Richard ran the back of the Daryl Walter automobile. Daryl is who Richard Petty had, not Dale Jarrett. It looked like Jimmy Spencer was also in there in the 98 car. So our first caution of the day, and it involves an incident coming out of turn number four. Among those involved, Richard Petty. We'll be right back. Well, the body has been able to hold Wallace off okay. No problem as far as crash and turn four. Jimmy Spencer has banged the wall. Bringing out our second caution of the day. This looks like there should probably be some contact getting in the corner. Oh, oh quickie. <laughs> oh, Spencer trying to get down, but cars are coming along, fortunately. Now, he went back on the racetrack because he can't legally pit right now because the caution flag is up. Pit road is closed. Now, when Alan Kowicki gets back there, it will be open. I think we'll see everybody coming in, and we'll be back to take those pit stops after this. For second position, it is our great pleasure to announce that uh, one Span of... Span up in turn three, Ooh. Red Bodine and Wally Dollenbach Jr. get together up there, going into the turn. Dollenbach hit the wall pretty hard in the rear end of the car, got sideways and slid up the banking into the wall, and his car sits against the outside barrier between turns three and four, and that'll bring out caution number four. And Ernie Irvin racing back to the start-finish line, trying to stay ahead of Alan Kowicki, and he does. He's sticking back there in a hurry. You get out of line. If you see a little bit of an opening, you've got to try to get her back in there. Earnhardt has taken third while we give you another field summary. Oh, oh, and Michael is into the wall in a whole big pileup in the third turn, blocking the track. Man, oh man, what a pileup. Here we see Harry Gant trying to get on the inside of Michael. Michael does not realize he's there. He comes down, Harry touches him in the left rear, and around he goes. Then Rusty Wallace runs in the back of Harry. He spins, and uh, everybody hit everybody. <laughs> yeah, and then they straighten Harry out, and he just comes on around. <laughs> Here's another angle. There we see Rusty getting hit by Darrell Waltrip and uh, Davey Allison running in the back of uh, Morgan Shepard. He spins. Uh, and then they all straighten out. They all straighten out. Keep on going. Yeah. And here's the cause for the caution flag. This is inside Morgan Shepard, Sitco Ford. He's following Rusty Wallace. That's Harry Gant up there. All of a sudden we see Michael Waltrip sideways. Harry Gant sideways. And boom, he runs in the side of Harry Gant. Goes down across the curb. Gets the car right, it puts it in gear, and drives away. And this time it's real time, and listen. <laughs> Boy, isn't <laughs> racing fun? We see all those yellow tarpaulins on the... The trouble is not in your set. Uh, Kyle Petty is going the wrong way on the racetrack. He spun up in turn number three, brushed the wall, 
is now uh, trying to get the car headed in the right direction as he is the reason for our eighth caution. Ooh, nice job of spinning that car around. Well, he's now trying to stay, not go another lap down, but there goes the pace car and all the other cars by him. Apparently the car died when he spun it around and he can't get it refired again. So it's a tough break for Kyle Petty in the Mellow Yellow Pontiac. Everybody else coming down pit road right now. First and second position. Davey comes off corner number four. We'll get the interval clock going here. Oh, there's a car in the wall. We'll do it a little bit later. That's Jimmy Spencer in the Molly Black Gold, number 98, who has fun. Ooh, Davey just barely missed him, huh? He almost turned down in front of Davey. So this is the ninth caution of the afternoon. Jimmy Spencer. And the Ford Martin. The Ford win streak. Oh, look at that slowing line that Rusty is running. He's, has he been saving that? You never know. Has he been saving that? I'm telling you, he was right down on the grass and made up a lot of ground on Davey, but he is catching Bobby Hillen. Here we go. Here's the last lap. The white flag is out. Now, Hillen's going to be there where Rusty would like to be. Down on the inside, he can't get down there as low as he would like to get, though. That's right. It's the last time he was right down there where Hillen was. Allison leads down the back stretch. Rusty looks to the inside in turn number three. Will it be Allison or Wallace? Here they come off the fourth turn. It is going to be Davy Allison winning by about a car length over Rusty Wallace. Finishing third was Ricky Rudd. Here comes this battle between Labonte, Brett Bodine, and Trickle. And it's Labonte with a note. Look, somebody's got in the back of Labonte's car. I saw a piece of sheet metal dragon. That was 9, 10th, and 11th you saw across the line there. But here is the winner of the first Union 400, Davey Allison. Here's John Kernan.